The students that approached me for this Canadian Space Agency Stratospheric Balloon Challenge came to me with their own idea, which by itself was quite impressive. They wanted to develop a system to measure particles through space at various altitudes. And that can tell us a lot about the atmosphere, and it can also tell us a lot about things that are happening to our atmosphere, for example, climate change. I was in my special relativity class learning about bubble chambers and some of their historical applications and I wonder if that technology has ever been tested in space. I knew that I was not going to be able to do that by myself so I got together with the physics friend Javier. Uh, he was very energetic, he was in his first year, I was in my second year. We got together but we realized that we needed more people still. So him and I, we thought of some people that would complement our skills. So we get an engineer, two people from computer science, one with more experience in hardware and the other one with software. Software. Once we had the idea, design, and roughly the experimental setup that we needed, we knew that Dr. Holzman's lab would be the ideal fit for us, so we got in touch with him. He was more than open to help us out with the research, and he was extremely excited, so we got access to his lab so we can do all the science we needed. I was very impressed at the idea being put forth by the team, but the truth is I was also a little bit worried. It was a big concept. The very first step when we started this whole process was uh, just start building a cloud chamber. We knew the theory, we knew we had to do everything, but we wanted to see if we could actually do it by ourselves. We started testing the prototypes, we had to write up a procedure to all of the experiments we were doing, and that we could show those to our supervisors and demonstrate that our experiment was actually working. The final build of the experiment had to be done on site. We had a lot of work to do, and all of that had to be done in a very intense frame of time. One of the main issues we had was pressure leaking. So we didn't know where it was leaking from, so we had to troubleshoot that in the span of four days, and that was one of the biggest concerns we had on site. Cloud chambers are designed to run on ground. What happens is that as we go up into the stratosphere, pressure drops down to almost vacuum, and we need to keep the inside of our chamber at one atmosphere. During several points of all this process, we asked ourselves, can we actually pull this through? It was a nail biter. Like, they were down to the wire and everyone was cheering for them towards the end. We had to pull a few all-nighters to make sure that we solved that issue before the launch. And once we finally found it, where it was coming through, it was a breakthrough moment, because now that means that we could actually fly. We're doing the pressure reading. I later learned that the scientists at the Canadian Space Agency were equally impressed that such a young group of students, being only in their second year, could put together a project that would be on the caliber of a national experiment. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo -hoo! Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's beautiful. I was so happy to be in my second year involved in such a big project with the Canadian Space Agency. I came here to work in the space sector, so being that close is definitely a big step for me. So I can't wait to see where this opportunity is going to lead us for future projects and future applications. I love working with my team. Best experience I've had so far. Um, we learned so much about team working, about um, different technical parts. We got to uh, learn more about our fields, about other people's fields. And um, we got to experience what a real project from start to end was like. Equally important result from this project, beyond just the experiment, was the fact that this is a launching point for a lot of future work that's going to be done on this campus that's related to space. And that really, I think, is the greatest impact of this project.